Hey everyone and welcome to the TapSnap tutorial on how to create a border in GIMP. Now there are two types of borders that you can create. The first one that we've had for the longest time is a digital border and this basically allows uh, the border to go on only the images that you want the border to be on. It almost acts as if it's a digital prop so it does, it's not embedded onto every single image. You actually have to choose the border to go onto the image. And the second one that we have that we actually just recently brought in was is a corporate border. And the corporate border embeds onto every single image. So a lot of the time, if you have a big corporate event and they want a couple logos on there, um, you can create a corporate border and everyone, um, it'll just embed itself onto every single image. So what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to create a corporate border just because it seems to be like the most popular type uh, these days. So. The only difference between the two of them is the size of the border. Um, so a corporate border has to have the same dimensions as a green screen, so it's going to be uh, 3,088 by 2,056 pixels. Um, a digital border is a little bit different. It's 1,200 by 796 pixels. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a canvas. So we're going to go to File and New. Okay, and... As you can see, it's already 3,088 by 2,056 pixels. Um, I had already uh, created one before, so that's why it's going to be like that. Um, what you can do is just punch in uh, the dimensions that you want. Um, before hitting OK, um, we want to go to the Advanced Options area here and click on this arrow. It has like a drop-down menu. In the Fill With section, we're going to want this to be Transparency. Um, if you created it, um, it's on transparency now because I set it to it, but usually it'll say fill with background color. You just simply have to click this and go to transparency and then click OK. So we're going to click OK. And so this is the canvas that we're going to be working with. Um, usually with the border, you kind of have like a colored border around it and then you can also add in logos. So I'm going to create just a birthday uh, corporate border. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the color around first. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the rectangle select tool here. And I'm just going to click and drag. Okay, and once you've created the rectangle, we're going to make a stroke on the outline of uh, the rectangle. We're not going to fill the entire thing in. We just want to make kind of an outline on the edges. So we're going to change, what you do first is you change the color that you want, and that's this icon here. So you just double click on that, and you just change the color to whatever you want. I'm going to go with a dark blue this time, so I'm going to click OK. And if nothing happens, that's OK. All we've done is just uh, change the color. So next thing you want to do is you go to Edit, and you go all the way down to Stroke Selection. Right, And so you'll want it to be on a solid color. You can do pattern as well, but if you're just a beginner, I would just stick to a solid color. Uh, the line width, um, this is basically just tells you the thickness of the border around the image, and it's by pixels. I'm going to try 200 pixels first. You can always go back and change it. After that, I hit stroke. So you can see now that it's created this stroke around it. Um, it's a little too thin for myself, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to hit undo. It just gets rid of it. I'll change the color. Oh. Uh, my rectangle disappeared, so I just drew another one. Um, okay, and then we're going to go to Edit and Stroke Selection. I'm going to go with 4, let's try 450. And then click Stroke. Okay, so that looks good to me. It's a little bit on the thicker side, but um, for this example, I'm just going to show you this. So. So this is now the outline of the border. Um, next thing I'm going to show is I'm going to add some uh, images to it. 
Um, most of the time, like if you have a corporate event, they'll want you to add some logos so you can actually fit them just under here or on top. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to just add some images because this is going to be a birthday one. So we're going to go to File, Open, and I actually just have some pre-made images here. So we'll go open that one. So this is the image that I'm going to use. What I do is I take the Rectangle Select tool, just draw a rectangle around the canvas, and then I go to Edit, and then Copy. So we're basically just copying and pasting it. All right, and now I want this new image to be its own layer, so I'll click on the New Layer tab, OK. <clears throat> and then we go to Edit and Paste. All right, and there is our new image. Um, it's a little too big for me, so I'm going to resize it to the proper size. Um, I'm going to go over here to the scale tool. So we'll click on this icon and then just click on the image. Um, we want to make sure that this portion here is locked so that when you change the width, then the height will also change. And I'm just going to click it and drag. Yeah, about there. And if you click the center, you're able to move it around the canvas. I'm going to put mine right there. Once it's in a good place, you can hit scale. All right, and there is my image. So that looks good to me. I also have one more, so I'm going to add another image. So same thing, file, open. And there's my second one. So again, we're going to take the Rectangle Select tool, select this, and hit Copy, go back to your border, edit, well, nope, we got to create a new layer first, all right, and then edit, paste, all right, and I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to resize it, so click on this, click on the image, make sure this is locked. I'm going to scale it down. All right. This guy's going to go over here. That looks about good to me. Right. And then I'm going to hit scale. All right. All right, so now we have our images onto our border. Um, next, I'm going to create um, some text. So you can simply just write happy birthday, um, whatever you'd like. So I'm going to click on the, t the type tool, the text tool, and then just create a box. Now, I want this to say... We'll just go with happy birthday, Alex. Now I'm going to highlight it, and I'm going to change the size of it. You can change it on here, or you can change it down here. Um, I'm going to go with maybe 150. All right, that looks good. You can also change the font to whatever you like. We'll go with this one, and then I'm going to also change the color. Get like a gray. There we go. That's good. <clears throat> All right, so this is now my text here. Get there. All right. And so you can't really see it because you can see the transparent boxes on the other side, but I'm going to move it so that it's over here. I'm going to take the move tool here and I'm going to click on the type. And just, oops. It looks about center to me. Okay. 
Mm, I think that's about it. You can add some more type down here if you like. It all really depends on what your client wants. Um, I would suggest, you know, kind of playing around with GIMP and um, seeing what you can add to the border. You want to make sure, though, that everything that kind of goes over top of this um, these square, this square pattern, this will be kind of over top of it. So the image that you take is going to be right here right in this section. So this is all transparent. And so next thing we're going to do is we're just going to export it. So we're going to go to File, down to Export. And then I'm going to call this Practice Border. We want to make sure it's a PNG file. And then we also want to change right here to PNG. Um, there's a many different kinds of um, files that you can save it as, but we're going to stick with PNG, and then we're going to hit export. This you can just leave. We'll just click export. All right. Now we're going to go back and we're going to go find where it went. Practice border. All right, and that's the border. So this is the border. It's um, perfect. It can go into a snapbook. It's ready to go. Um, you want to make sure that you upload it in the correct place. If it's a corporate border like this is, then you're going to want to upload it into the, when you're booking the actual event, almost like when you're uploading the logos, I believe right underneath it, it says corporate border. So that's where you're going to upload it. If this is a digital border um, with smaller dimensions, then you're going to have to upload it into your My, uh, My Borders folder. And then from there, um, you'll be able to see it when they're, on, um, when they're on the kiosk and they're editing it. All right, and that's how you create a border in GIMP. Um, make sure to check out all of my other tutorials on uh, to learn how to create other tab snap graphics.